Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across a loading script error code 0xc000006 status in page error. So if you're trying to run a Visual Basic script and you're coming across this NT status code error, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in CMD, best match should go back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one's going to be a DISM command. So just copy it how you would ignore any normal text and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. It will take a couple moments for this to initiate. It might take a couple minutes for the scan to run as well. So just please be patient.
Okay, so once it says it has completed successfully, there will be another command in the description of the video. So it's an SFC, so System File Checker Utility Scan. So you're just going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. So again, SFC space forward slash scan now. Once you have it as it appears on my screen, you just want to hit enter. This would take some time to run, so you just want to be patient. Probably take about 10 minutes or so. You would want to restart your computer once it's completed, and that would pretty much be about it at that point. So I'm not going to make you guys wait through this whole process, but once it's finished, you want to restart your system, and then hopefully the error has gone away. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.